Bienvenidos todos. Welcome everyone. My name is Big Will and I'm your guide on this excursion to learn more about the true cost of living here in Panama. And this is Panamazing Tours, the channel where Panama's wonders come to life. Join us on a journey like no other as we explore the beauty, culture, and excitement of this incredible country. Subscribe now and let's embark on amazing adventures together. This is Panama, a gem of Central America, where modern meets affordability. Panama's diverse landscapes offer something for everyone. From the bustling streets of Panama City to the serene beaches and picturesque highlands, Panama is not just a place to visit, it's a place to call home. There are many reasons why Panama constantly keeps popping up on the best places to retire list. Panama's reputation as an affordable retirement haven is well deserved. Just take one look at the gleaming skyscrapers that define Panama City skyline, and you'll wonder whether or not your plane landed in Miami by mistake. And yet, despite the apparent glitz and glamour, this is still one of the world's top value destinations. Today, we're exploring the cost of living in this beautiful country, a dream destination for retirees and adventurers alike. But before we dive into that, let me take a quick second to invite everyone to check out our store where you can find lovely t-shirts and gear for your relocation. Comparing the cost of living in Panama with anywhere similar in the States, the difference is astounding. I'm talking good weather locales with great beaches, no hurricanes, and lots of sunshine, and all for less than you would spend without the great weather. This is true regardless of whether you choose modern, international, oceanfront hub that is Panama City, or if you choose the spectacular mountains with their cool breezes and sweeping mountain vistas, or a coastal town with pristine beaches and sparkling turquoise waters, or maybe you want some rural farm, farmland dotted with fruit trees, vegetable patches, and horse pastures. For example, how much would you pay for a 1,700 square foot apartment in a nice neighborhood in Washington, D.C.? Probably upwards of 400000 In San Francisco, which is one of Panama's most desirable communities, we did a video feature on uh, this community, so make sure you check that out. In San Francisco, I saw one listed for just 169000 The building even has a gym and pools. There's a doorman and a security guard and a concierge who will bring packages to your door. Oh, and the apartment is for sale fully furnished. So that's thousands of dollars in major appliances and furniture costs saved off the top. The cost savings are also easy to see in terms of rentals. We also encourage our clients to take their time when coming here and rent for a while to learn the lay of the land before diving into purchases. That said, let's compare rental prices. Apartments for rent in Panama's upscale central areas start in the $900 to $1,500 range per month for a 1,000 plus square foot apartment. Here's a lovely unit on my block for just $1,400 a month. And the amenities rock. This uh, has an ocean view, a gym with pools, as well as 24-hour security, and a doorman. And it comes furnished as many units here do. For perspective, here's a one-bedroom for rent in our old hometown, Washington, D.C., for $2,300 a month. Make it make sense. Food is another major cost. It's also way more affordable here in Panama. Local produce is abundant and amazingly cheap. Sweet mangoes, papaya, pineapple, the local fruit selection is just simply amazing and affordable. And there are also many imported items like grapes and apple. Y'all, the produce section here is banging. To save on your monthly grocery bill, choose mostly local products and splurge on just a few imported items. This is very important as the brands that are imported are always going to cost more than local products. Do yourself a big favor and try some of the local brands. Chances are you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I know I was. You can always save money by visiting the many farmers markets to buy directly from the farmers versus mega corporations. 
Y'all, I go to a local farmer's market here and I leave with a big bag full of vegetables for $5. It's crazy. We eat out more often here than we did in the United States because of the difference in cost of living. That said, you can easily spend as much in a restaurant here as you can in D.C., especially if you're eating in the high-end tourist areas. But if you choose to eat at smaller, smaller family-owned restaurants or fondas, you can see a significant cost savings. My favorite fonda spot for lunch gives us a meal with a big piece of fried fish, rice, plantains, and a pasta salad, all for $4 each. I just give her a $10 bill and say, keep the change. It's a win-win. Here's a spreadsheet with some expenses listed to give you a much better idea of what you're going to be facing. So as I said before, rent for a one bedroom furnish, $800 to $1,600. This is in Panama City. These prices go down if you move to the interior or to the beach. We pay more in rent in Panama City than we did out in Coronado and Gorgona. Electricity is going to be between $60 to $200 a month, depending on how much you run your AC. You want to find a building that has really good airflow so that you can get that $60 a month. In some places in Panama City, the electric bills can be a little bit higher than $200, too. Panama actually charges uh, higher rates for the same electricity in more well-to-do areas, so keep that in mind. Water, for those who have to pay for it, $12, $25. It's usually bundled in with rent or with trash pickup. We don't have to pay for water. Uh, gas, we don't have to pay for gas either. But for those who do pay for gas, they're generally spending zero to $10 a month. Uh, household help, a maid. Yes, having a maid is nice. So if your maid comes twice a month, you're looking at $60 to $100. More on a maid in just a second. Your internet expenses um, are going to range from $30 to $40 a month, depending on whether or not you're accompanying that internet with a cable package. We just use a high fiber optic cable with, I mean, uh, internet with no cable, no TV. And we're right at $45 a month with that. Our cell phone plans here, 15 to $45. We have two lines from Claro. We pay $40 a month for both lines. That total, that's 20 and 20 for 40. Uh, for those who have cable, anywhere from 12 to 50, 50 dollars a month. Healthcare expenses, this is a big one. Um, so most of the healthcare here is out of pocket for us. Out of pocket, prescriptions, doctor visits, procedures, 200 to 500 dollars a month. We're actually coming in way below that 200 dollars a month. Uh, the biggest thing for us are maintenance meds. Transportation, uh, that's gonna be 50 to 200 dollars a month for your car maintenance or public transportation, or Uber. Uber is only available in Panama City, though. So if you're in the beaches or in the mountains, you're not going to get Uber. You're going to have to deal with the regular Panamanian public transit system. And then groceries. Uh, groceries are four to $500 a month, and that's for us. There's two people that we're grocery shopping for. So if you're by yourself, you can cut that in half. And then entertainment. Uh, we budget anywhere from 250 to 400 dollars a month for dining out and other activities and then then there's some miscellaneous and incidentals uh but typically our monthly total for me the budget is four thousand dollars a month every month just just to live and that's not bad that's that's a, a huge cost savings over what we had in dc and we know that we are fully capable of reducing that to about two thousand dollars a month if we really wanted to go hard on living here. Now, like many expats, you may find it difficult to resist having a maid. They're easy to find, as incredibly easy to find help here in Panama. You'll likely pay $15 to $30 per visit. That generally includes cleaning the kitchen and the bathroom, sweeping and mopping the floors. They'll even do your laundry. Ironing is not usually included, but Requesting some help with cooking and food prep is generally all right. Look, I'm supposed to wash dishes today and I'm leaving in there because I know the maid is coming. Shh, don't tell my wife. Many expats find that one visit is quite enough, whereas well-to-do Panamanian families tend to have full-time living maids. That's why so many units here come with maids' quarters. If that is the path that you're on, you need to expect to spend about $250 a month in salary. 
if the room and board is provided. Now, as if life in Panama doesn't sound luxurious enough and a lot cheaper than your current hometown, there's one more thing you should know. In Panama, any retiree age resident, that's 60 for men and 55 for women. Any one of these ages is entitled to a host of special discounts. These discounts are known as pensionado for the visa or jubilado for just general residents. These include 25% off of power bills, 50% off of movie and show tickets, 20% off of medical consultations, 25% off of meals at restaurants, and the list goes on. If you become a resident and are of age, you'll pay just $3 on that $6 movie ticket. You'll just spend $63 on that round on that $90 round trip ferry to the Pearl Islands. Look, I ain't heard anybody complain about the Hubalado discounts. It's pretty sweet. Even shopping for clothes is a joy here. There are more than a few local department store chains that sell irregular and unsold merchandise from the U.S., as well as inexpensive goods from Latin American or Caribbean region and, of course, Asia. So you have your regular recognizable brands like Gucci and Louis Vuitton or even the, the more reasonable ones like uh, Old Navy or Cycle Bunny, if you want to spend that kind of money. My personal favorite is H&M. The clothes are nice, they fit, and they're not expensive at all. We also have access to Amazon shopping here. Most expats use a mail forwarding service that only adds a few extra dollars to your shipment. And y'all, I just got notified. My car stereo arrived today. So as soon as I finish shooting this, I'm off. In conclusion, Panama isn't just affordable. It's a lifestyle choice that offers quality, comfort, and value. Please make sure to join us at Pan Amazing Tours as we uncover more secrets of this incredible country. For more insight and tours in Panama, make sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, panamazingtours.com. We offer all kinds of assistance for those looking to make Panama their new home. We offer video chat consultations to discuss your plans and answer questions. We offer a comprehensive relocation guide to serve as your roadmap or blueprint for you. You do-it-yourselfers out there. And we also offer a full-service relocation tour designed to show you real estate and to connect you with immigration experts as well as your future health care providers. Please come and experience the pan-amazing life with us. Ciao.